products that we use to ensure thorough clean, there, well, there's many. Uh, depends again on what the job type is. Uh, if we get called to, say, a decomposition, the very first thing we do is take uh, take an ATP reading, which is which tells us the level of microbial activity on the jobs. It doesn't tell us whether the bacteria is good or bad, it just tells us what microbial levels are there. So that kind of gives us our baseline. Um, if it's a, a suicide or a trauma cleanup, we don't take that baseline reading. Uh, we would clean, we have several cleaners. Uh, we try and use the greenest products we can that are still effective. Uh, that might entail just a simple degreaser. Uh, we have a workhorse product that it's peroxide based, so that helps pull blood or body fluids out of the surface we're working on. And then we follow that up with, with disinfectants. And again, we use natural based disinfectants. We have two different products that we choose from, kind of depends on the situation. Basically, we use best practices for doing every job we have, the industry standards, uh, back to the decomposition. Once we're done cleaning and sanitizing the surfaces, then we will retest that ATP level to determine where we're at, maybe it's cleaned and sanitized and we can consider the job done, but there's a threshold that we'll go for and anything below that is passing. If it is above that threshold, we redo the whole process again until we get below that.